All right, hey guys, today we're going to be doing a, a pretty different tutorial. We're going, I'm going to be showing you how to take a save file from an original Game Boy cartridge and put it in Virtual Console. There are a few things you'll need, of course. Of course, you need to have some way of loading save files on your 3DS, so custom firmware or homebrew or whatever. As you can see here, here's my current save file on here. I didn't play very much four minutes in one Pokedex. This is not my original cartridge. This is one I bought a couple days ago. And I played a little bit longer. Let's see. We got 49 minutes and two Pokedex entries. All right. So we're going to be taking this save file and putting it on here. This is not a joke. This is not a prank. This is 100% real. But you will need a few more things. You will also need some way to transfer your save file from the cartridge. So today we're going to use the cheapest possible method, which is the Monster Brain. So we use the Monster Brain, and, and that's $10 with this, which is about $40. So yes, this will cost you $50, but you'll be able to back up all your... Um, all your Game Boy games, and you'll be able to also have archived copies of them, and you'll be able to play them on your 3DS, so you don't need these cartridges anymore. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is take your cartridge and load up in the Monster Brain. This will work with any game that uses um, battery back saves, so like Pokemon, um, Zelda, stuff like that. So once you go ahead and boot up your Monster Brain with your game in, if both things have clean contacts, you need to have this having clean contacts and the Monster Brain, so both. I just go ahead and boot up your Monster Brain and go to the Memory section. In the Memory section, we're just going to go to Backup and just give it a name. We're going to call it P3, because why not? All right, and let's go down and begin Backup, press Enter. All right, and now it's backed up. So now it's backed up to the Monster Brain, but unfortunately, since the Monster Brain doesn't have any USB ports or anything, that's why we need this $40 USB smart card. Yes, there are other ways of doing this, but this is the cheapest method I've found so far, is using these two things in conjunction with each other. So, I mean, you could always build your own um, ripping rig, but that would cost time and money. And I don't have the technical know-how to do that. Alright, so once we have our GB smart card in, you have to have some type of game flash on this thing. You can't just use this right out of the box. So, um, event, uh, pretty soon I should have up my video of how to flash these. Uh, so just flash any game to it. It doesn't need to be Pokemon. For example, I have... Mario in, on here right now. Uh, Mario 2. Good game, good game. Alright, so just go ahead and start this up. And then you'll see this menu. And this time we're going to use Restore. So we're going to restore from that save file we just made. Let's go down to Restore. Second option. Find your save file. It's P3 for me. Restoring game. Let's go ahead and take it to our PC real quick. All right, right now I'm running a virtual version of Windows XP because it doesn't. This software doesn't seem to work very well on Windows uh, 10, so I went ahead and loaded that up. It's we're in Windows XP. Let's go ahead and run the program that came with your the software that came with your card, and it should say device connected. So now we should say our save file says Mario Land 2 because that's what game we're running. But the save file is actually not for Mario Land 2. So when we say reads SRAM, name it whatever you want. Go ahead and click save. And just wait for that to finish. It should only take a few seconds. All right, once it's read, now we're going to go ahead and test it out. I have a shared folder, so I'm just going to open up the shared folder. Here's our Pokemon Red. Um, it's supposed to say .save at the end. If it doesn't, just go ahead and add .sav. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and load up an emulator. Just go ahead and load up the ROM in an emulator just to test the save file. And we're going to do import battery, file, import battery. And we're going to import Pokemon Red save. Reboot it. And hopefully it will be working. Let's give it a try. And there we go. If all you want to do is have your save file on your computer, now you do. The save file is successfully working. We just imported it from the actual cartridge. Now for step two. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is boot up your favorite save manager to make sure it actually supports Pokemon Red. I am going to be using JK Save Manager, since that seems to work best for me. Uh, I believe there's a homebrew version, I'm just using the SIA version, so it's a little bit faster and easier to set up. Alright, in um, JK, I'm using uh, SD card slash SIA, because that's where it's stored. Go down to Pokemon Red. So there we go, we got Pokemon Red. And we're going to export the save file. And we're going to export it as new. I already have one backup. And for the file name, we're going to call it real. Because it's a real card. That we're going to be restoring. So, 
of this press A. Okay, yes, it's complete. All right, so now all we gotta do is just turn this thing off and we'll plug our SD card into our computer and we should be good to go. All right, and then after you save, all you gotta do is just export the battery just like we imported it. Go to export and then battery file. We're gonna name this something different so we don't accidentally overwrite this old save file we have here. So let's call this save. All right, and now we see save.dat is 32 kilobytes. That's good, good, good. All right, so we go to the, back to the place where we've had our save file stored, which for me was JKS slash save slash Pokemon Red slash real. And then you see here, we also have a save.dat. That's the one that our emulator uses. So all we gotta do is just drag and drop this into here. And that says save, sav.dat. So we'll back this one up, rename it dot dk or something just in case you ever need it again then we're going to rename this to sav dot that all right and there we go so now all we gotta do is just throw this back in our 3ds and let's go ahead and see how it goes all right we our 3ds back up now we're entering jk save manager again and this time we'll use a restore option. So we go down to we go to the same setup we did last time. We do 3D uh, SD card slash SIA. Scroll all the way to whatever game you're looking for. Pokemon Red, and we're going to use Import Save, and we're going to use Real. So that's the one we overwrote, and then we'll say Really Restore, and we're like Yeah. We say okay. Now all we should have to do is back out of this. Just press B a bunch of times, and eventually it will take you out. Or if you're using the homebrew, just return to menu. Um, now we go to our game, which is Pokemon Red. Let's go ahead and boot it up. Let's see if it overwrote our save file. And there we go. Both the cartridge and the um, Emulation have us in the exact same point for the exact same time, trainer ID, Pokemon, and all that. So we're actually in, able to import our save file from the original cartridge. Again, this isn't my first um, fire, uh, red version game, but as you see, all the stuff the same. Just to prove it, I'll show you my trainer card. I don't remember if they show your IDs back then. There we go. 61, blah, blah, blah. And over here. Stats, same ID number. So yep, we actually copied it from the original cartridge using stuff you can still buy today. I've seen some other tutorials that show, ask you to use like serial ports and stuff, but uh, the Monster Brain you can find online really easily for under 10 bucks. And the Flash cartridge, which I have in the other room, you can find for about 40. So it's a little bit pricey, but still cool to be able to transfer your save files. And you can still use it as a Flash cartridge too. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.